All right, welcome back. So we're going to follow up our previous video on installing DaVinci Resolve on Ubuntu with an updated version on how to install DaVinci Resolve version 20 or a 20 point something on Ubuntu. We're going to do 25.10 and then I'll comment on some of the older versions. So we're going to jump right into it. It's actually pretty straightforward. So just like the last time, you're going to want to grab this make resolve deb uh, tool uh, from this website right here. This is going to do the magic of converting the DaVinci Resolve zip file into a DVM package, which you can install in Ubuntu. And so right here, I have a virtual machine running using a fresh install of Ubuntu 2510. So I'm going to show you what that looks like. So actually, you can see here, I have a couple versions of DaVinci Resolve. And I've actually created uh, the .deb file. But the way you would run this is you would, I'll just show you the command line. So if you had DaVinci Resolve Studio 20 and you had unzipped it, you would get this .run file. So what you do is you would run this and you would just give it that. And that command will actually make the uh, .deb file for you. And then to install it, you just run uh, this command to do the install. And that's how you would install it. However, you will need to do a couple uh, dependency installations to get this just right. Now, I played around with this uh, a bit, and I'll be honest, if you have trouble with this, I recommend going to something like ChatGPT and having it sift through all the information out there to get the exact set of dependencies you need to get this working because it was it was a little iffy and when i played with different versions of ubuntu i hit some different issues but i'm going to show you what worked for me so i'm just going to paste this in and these were the dependencies i needed and so you can see right here i'll just leave it up on the screen i'll probably put these down in the chat but basically installing this set of dependencies got everything working for me. So we're just gonna go ahead and do that right here. All right, that is done. So now let's go ahead and install this package. So let's let it do that. All right. And now let's uh, try starting Resolve and see what happens. Now, this is a virtual machine. I don't have a graphics card, so we're not going to get very far. But just to see if it works. And there you go. Resolve 20.2 is up and running. And that was it. So pretty straightforward. And by the way, I did do this on my actual uh, bare metal uh, host without a virtual machine. And it worked just fine. Got it up and running. Okay, and this uh, the same uh, set of dependencies also worked on, I think it was 2410 or 2404. Let's pull that up real quick and I'll show it to you. All right, so we have our 2404 virtual machine here. And what we're gonna do is I will just start this up from a snapshot that pretty much has all the files ready to go. Yeah, so we'll just run this snapshot. Uh, you can see here I've already prepped all the files, so I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm going to install those dependencies. And now we will install Resolve. All right, and let's give it a try. There we go, uh, Resolve 20 on Ubuntu 2404. And now the last thing you may be wondering is, can I upgrade? And yes, I've tested that as well on both versions, and it works exactly the same. If you have version 19 installed, you can just go through the same procedure. I'll just get past this. All right. So you can go through the same procedure and it'll upgrade from 19 to 20, works just fine. Now, 
One thing I did notice when I installed this uh, on my normal machine outside of a virtual machine, I got a, a, an error with creating some like um, directories for the application and the way I, and it basically it crashed on start and um, we don't need this. And the way I solved it was running resolve as root for the first time. And then it created the directories. And after that, I actually didn't need to, uh, to do that anymore. Anyway, uh, there you go. Like I said at the beginning, it was relatively straightforward. It did take me a bit of time to figure out the dependency list. And um, I found a chat GPT very helpful for that. So if there's something uh, particular about your setup, maybe it's a particular graphics card or something else. If what I've uh, given here doesn't work for you, I definitely recommend uh, using one of those tools to get it working. But it, 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 again, it didn't take too long and um, hope it works for you and we'll see you next time.